Hi, everybody. Welcome to week five. This week, you are going to get started working on your own rhetorical analysis essay. The first thing I'd like you to do as you get started on this task is to read through the instructor's notes in week five. Let me open those up and we'll take a look at them. As you know, if you'd like, you can go to this link, 60 Powerful Social Issue Ads, that will make you stop and think, and you'll find a number of really powerful public service announcements there. However, you really can um, look anywhere for the public service announcement you're interested in analyzing. All right, so once you finish that, and you have an idea in mind about the public service announcement you wanna analyze, I'm going to ask you to come up with a working thesis statement about it. So essentially what you're doing is you will be making a claim about how the image you're analyzing is using rhetoric to persuade. Let's take a look at discussion six. This is what I'm gonna ask you to do for Monday night's assignment. <clears throat> you will first watch a video on how to write a thesis statement. It's a pretty long video, 25 minutes, but I think it's a really good text. So I hope you'll spend some time with that. I'll ask you to take some notes on it and notice some things. Then finally, I'm going to ask you to write your own working thesis statement. After you create a tentative working thesis statement, kind of like a first draft, then you'll spend some time looking at a sample student essay and a sample student thesis statement and as you do so, I'll be giving you some ideas on how you might revise and refine and complicate the initial thesis statement that you came up with. Finally, on Monday night, you will post a final version of your tentative working thesis statement so that I can give you some comments on it. All right, so that's Monday's assignment. For Wednesday, I'm going to ask you to do a little bit more work. Uh, Wednesday's assignment asks you to come up with <clears throat> an introduction to that working thesis statement that you created, and um, also an outline for what you're planning to write about. Okay, so you'll notice there's a little bit of reading to do first. I've asked you to read uh, chapter 25 in your textbook and chapter 28. Then take a look at this short handout called Intro to Introductions, and also look at some tips for organizing your essay. Now, <clears throat> once you have done that reading, you're gonna do for Wednesday night, the first part of discussion seven. <clears throat> so you will notice that the first part of discussion seven, task one, asks you to submit an introduction, a working thesis statement, and an outline for your upcoming essay. <clears throat> That's all you need to do for Wednesday, okay? Then by Friday, I'm gonna ask you to provide your peers with some feedback. So, <clears throat> I have a fairly specific way to do that. And really that's just so you can give your peer the most information that you can uh, while also really thinking about who they are as a person and how your words can help them and encourage them to write more. So uh, when you on Friday respond to a peer, you'll copy and paste these statements to the top of your posts. You'll read their profile, or you can also read their introductor, introductions in the introduction uh, discussion form. And then I'm gonna ask you to kind of fill in the blanks. So uh, I don't know if you've ever uh, played with Mad Libs, but this is kind of like that. Um, you will address your classmate, and then you will just kind of give them feedback based on what these uh, sort of sentence guides ask you to do. All right. So once you're finished with that, you are all nearly finished with the most important elements of uh, week five's assignments. So just to recap, week five, you are going to choose a public service announcement to analyze. You're going to write a working thesis statement about it. Then you're going to write an outline of the essay you would like to write about that public service announcement. And on Friday, you will provide your peers with some feedback as well. All right. Uh, as usual, I'll be having office hours next week. So just check the information below for the Zoom link. And you can always email me with any questions or concerns. All right. Thanks.